Welcome to Entertainment Weekly's Comic Con Suite. I'm Sam Heifel. I'm joined now by Star Trek Picard. I'm so excited. I mean, ever since the Next Generation reunion was announced, I feel like people have been so excited. We have a little preview of it right here. I feel like we have our own mini reunion. How was it brought to you all? What was your first kind of reaction to this reunion? You, you know, I don't mean to disappoint you, but it, it's not about a next generation reunion. Sure. It really isn't. Yeah. It's, it's part of a narrative, a very serious narrative that develops throughout mm -hmm. season three and indeed does bring us together. I can't say right at the end because... You're sure. not to know that, but um, <laughs> it's it's um, it's it's not just a walk down memory lane. Sure. Remotely. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's true, and I know I was reproached, and Terry Metalis told me this incredible story that involved Crusher on Picard, and uh, it was something that was very different that I had not explored on the original series. And that's what made it so exciting. I mean, yes, it was so much fun to be back together in the same room shooting yeah. something. We had a fantastic crew. I loved Terry. Everything was great, actually. Yeah. But our characters have evolved as sure. we have evolved as humans. And I think that makes it incredibly rich, also very different. Yeah. And so far as Picard is concerned, a, a secret history is acknowledged as well yeah well I mean talking about characters changing what do you feel like is the biggest difference now versus back then oh that's I think that you know I, I feel that Picard and Crusher have had this very particular very particular love relationship it's very unique. strong yeah mm -hmm. very unique and it's almost Shakespearean to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost yeah. like, you know, in the sonnet of uh, uh, looks upon tempests but is never shaken. It's that sort of thing. And I've always thought that, but to actually be in a situation where we have to rediscover and reanalyze how do we feel about each other. And I, we haven't seen each other for 20 to 25 years, which is not the way Patrick and I have. We have seen each other, but <laughs> that was really strong. Yeah. Yes, very strong. Yeah. Well, it's also the final season of this show. Did it feel different making it? Could you feel that kind of weight of a farewell? Oh, um, on the final day, yes. <laughs> there, was, there was just too much work going on sure. to feel sad or uh, a little bit sorrowful that it was over. But uh, when, when they called, and that's a wrap, mm. folks. I felt quite emotional because Picard has been a, a wonderful experience. Yes, I know I turned it down to begin with, but <laughs> I was convinced by what I was told by our wonderful writing team and executive producers what was going to be different about it. And it proved to be even more different than I've been told. Sure. Everybody is fantastic in it. Yeah. I mean, you know, Worf, Troy, Riker. Uh, it, it just, and, you know, it's it's very special to have that kind of a bond and then to revisit it, but in a very different way. Yeah. Um, and it's, also with Star Trek, which is such, an, I mean, I love being involved in this franchise. I really do, because it stands for something. Yeah. And um, it stands for our universe and our possibilities of the future. And we're good role models, and we need that now. People talk of the impact that the, the Star Trek, and I'm not just talking about Next Generation. Right, all, all the of them. Uh, the, the impact it has had on thousands, maybe mm. millions of people. Mm. I, was in, I was in Beijing uh, about three years ago, and I, I thought actually we weren't even screedy in China, <laughs> but then people were stopping me in the streets mm. and just rattling Chinese at me, and mm. I didn't know what they were saying, but I was being told, no, they, they just want to say, they love your show, they love your show. Wow. I, I had no idea. It's, it's a show where the show itself is so much bigger than the actors yes. Yes. who are in it. Well said. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> when I was
also so curious what it's like to see you all, for you all to see this world just continue to, they just announced today, like two more Star Trek shows in development. What is it like for you all to see it just continue to grow? I feel like every time I think, you know, have we seen the last Star Trek thing? It's, it's a no, it's and about, I love it. It's about the future. Yeah. And we need to think about our future. Sure. And so I think it, it's probably indicative the need for a positive future. That's why Star Trek is coming around, keeps coming around, because it's not just dystopian. It's really about people who know how to collaborate, who know how to listen, even if they disagree. Even if there's, yeah. you know, that, that's unique. Well, anyway, that's very special about Star Trek, and it's about science and, and progress. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a huge, unfathomable universe. We need to have hope, and I think Star Trek gives us the, the imagery of that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. It always has done, and it's, it is how it continues to say things can be better. We will be, make them better. Mm -hmm. We can do good work, and, yeah. and uh, you know, the, it's the civilization of the planet Earth is minuscule now yeah. in the uh, in the realm of Star Trek, but but it's a better world than it is today. Yeah, I feel almost as though it's becoming more relevant with with time, which is really fascinating. I hope, I hope so. And it's also great because the animated show, that Lower Decks, is also wonderful. That we are a strong enough franchise and everything that you can make fun of it and it's actually so beautiful and rich and then all of a sudden it can turn and be powerful. I really love the new shows and uh, I, I don't feel, oh, it's the next next generation. I think right on, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> more Star Trek, all more Star Trek. I do, I mean, Patrick, you mentioned hearing that final rap, that final day. What is it like for you to kind of walk away from this character? Would do you, can like, do you have to shed this character in any way, or? I'm not walking away from him. Okay. He's here. Yeah. And he has been here for years and years and years. There was a point, I don't know, around about season three mm -hmm. of Next Generation, when I no longer knew where Picard began and Jean-Luc <laughs> left off. Um, I, I'm sorry, and Patrick Stewart left yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. You see, I'm. <laughs> it's all there. I don't know what my yeah. name is now. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. Patrick Stewart. Okay, thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> now, mine was different experience because, you know, I thought it was Gates and Beverly, but then when I tried to operate on people, they were just, no, <laughs> you are not a surgeon. Get away from me. <laughs> yeah, the same with me flying spaceships. No, no, not a concern. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you do feel as if that character's just become a part of you. Entirely. And this, this happens a lot with the kind of work that actors do. Mm -hmm. um, and and the, the better quality, the higher the quality of the writing and the production and so forth, increases that, that it, it comes to exist in a part of you, not just in the memory, but in the emotional life that you lead. I, I, I mean, my wife, who has a far better memory than I do, <laughs> I wish she could learn my lines instead of me, <laughs> she continually quotes um, uh, phrases back to me from stage plays that I did ten years ago. Oh wow! And it's it's <laughs> it's and because they live inside her because she saw them so many times. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I mean, John Luc Picard is actually a part of all of us. We we think. Of, I mean, it yeah. really he really is because it was such a great thing that you did and that they wrote and you brought it all together and it was. It was sort of the mind and the heart were put together in a way that was really, really beautiful. But not the truth. And that's what Picard is examining. Right. Mm -hmm. What was the truth? Right. Perfect. I think that's the, have to watch it. <laughs> the perfect note to end on. Thank you both so much for coming through. And for everybody watching, stay tuned to EW.com for all your Comic-Con needs.